Uh, greetings, adventurers. Dead Fraggle here. Thanks for watching. This is the first of a couple of modding videos for Skyrim that I wanted to make and put on YouTube. And be, uh, before I show you uh, in my next video uh, the mods that I've installed and what they do, I thought I would show you a little bit about how to set up your system in order to run these mods. It's very simple. Um, so basically there's a few tools that you want to get before you install any mods. I'll just bring up my directory here. Now obviously it's compatible with Steam. You can't run Skyrim without Steam. So uh, at least not the most up-to-date version. I think you can probably install it off the disk and never update it and you'd be <laughs> never have to install Steam but then not going to be able to run any mods anyway. So, so basically, I'm in my Steam apps uh, directory, and uh, I've got a couple of games installed: Fallout, New Vegas, and Skyrim. And I'm in my Skyrim directory. And if you're familiar with any of the other moddable games, you'll notice that there's a data directory where a lot of the uh, mods will be, end up at being installed. I made a few other folders for convenience like downloads myself, uh, the Nexus Mod Manager, and then so forth. First thing you need is uh, two different tools. Uh, one is uh, Script Dragon, and uh, that's, I think, here's the latest version here. And another tool is the Skyrim Script Extender. And I think that's it right there. All right, so basically, you uh, download these files and here's the script dragon now there's a couple of uh, folders here what you want is the stuff inside bin now this this folder here is if you're a programmer and uh, you want to look on at the code maybe you can hack it yourself it's beyond my capability so I, you don't have to touch these that folder there what you want is inside bin you don't want to drag the bin folder you just want what's inside of bin all right, so there's all the files there. Now these are extra scripts that you don't need, like the horse spawner. It's yeah, if you want to use it, fine. Uh, you can put it in, but these are extra uh, example scripts. There's a trainer here, an undress uh, script, and a weather one as well. But really, the only ones you need is this one and that one as well. The rest is all extra. You can actually install them and then rename them if you want but anyways these are the only two files you want and you want to put them right in your skyrim directory which is right here and you can see i've got my script dragon files the other tool that you're going to need is the uh, skyrim script extender which is right here Again, this all the files are inside of a directory. You don't want to move that directory. Again, the source was provided, which is awesome if you're a programmer and you want to look at this stuff. But you don't need what's inside uh, SRC. Uh, basically, if you're just a gamer looking to install mods, you just need these files right here. All right, so you can and you actually can skip the text if you want, but it's nice to have, anyways. So you just take all these files and uh, drag and drop them into your Skyrim directory again, which you can see I've already done. Uh, okay, so that's done. The other tool that uh, is very handy, especially if you're downloading mods off the Nexus, which uh, is probably the best download site available for mods, um, well, uh, y you can get the Nexus Mod Manager, which you can see I've installed right here. And, uh, yeah, so just when you're going to download mods at the Nexus website, you just say Download with Mod Manager. And this will pop up. Now, the only... Um, complaint I have about this. It's not really a complaint. It sometimes takes a little while to load. And as you can see, you can uh, manage other games with it. So, But we're going to use Skyrim for the time being. And notice that it says beta. Uh, it has crashed on me a couple of times. 
If it crashes on you, probably the best thing to do is to uh, completely log out and log back into Windows uh, so you can clear the memory and stuff like that. And if that doesn't work, try like rebooting your computer. But for the most part, it works okay. Now, um, as you can see, if you were to download something, it would go into here. And uh, the mods are installed here. A great thing about this is it can update your mods as needed. There's an update function here. Uh, settings, mod options, stuff like that. Don't er just keep the defaults. And uh, you'll notice here there's some options here. You can launch Skyrim normally, launch uh, Skyrim script extender, which is the one you want to pick. Mm, I don't want to do that. Okay, so I'll just exit out of here for a sec. I don't even know if this is recording. Probably still hearing me though, hopefully. So just bear with me and I'll get back into... Uh, all right. And we are back. Hopefully that's still recording. All right. So I'll just... L load up the Nexus mod manager again. Um, all right, so I just wanted to uh, show you a couple of mods that will be... Dem now, I have two Sky uh, UIs here. I, I think it's because when I installed it through the manager, it asked me to install, and I clicked install again, and it actually put a second one. I just didn't activate the second one. Uh, I should have just probably picked the icons, and it would have been fine. I'm not sure. I could probably delete it, but I don't want to try. It's working, so <laughs> I'm not going to mess with it. Uh, now, there is one mod that I found on Nexus, and I'm going to put links to all the mods uh, and tools in the description bar below, so check for that uh, at the bottom of this video. Now, the first one I show... Uh, uh, it's a mod, but it's actually more of a tweak. You find it at the Nexus. They show you how to do it. It's called uh, Map Improved Version 1.3. Uh, see here. I'll have to increase the size of my font on the second computer so I can read the name of the author here. Here we go. It's by Arth. For Arf, Arf for Carl. <laughs> All right. And it's not actually seen here in this uh, mod list. Um, as you can see, I put a shortcut to my Skyrim Innie, which uh, is in uh, Documents, My Game, Skyrim. And basically, it just adds a section, this section right here, uh, pertaining to your preferences. If you uh, go to the uh, mod page, there's other options you can choose but basically this mod is just a an, um, an addition to the Skyrim any that's all you have to do paste this stuff in here and uh, you'll have a, a better map which I'll show you in the next video uh, so oh yeah to activate these mods it's not you don't click in the check mark here you actually uh, select the mod you want to activate and then hit, hit this activate button the same thing if you want to deactivate it doesn't seem to do anything just clicking the selection boxes but it works um, yeah so what else did I want to show you so we'll be seeing the better sorting mod colored map markers we get an enchanting table in our breeze home the sky UI which is awesome uh, and the, um, oh yeah, this mod is what I wanted to talk about. Now this mod in, uh, improves the frame rate of the game. The game has been running exceptionally well on my PC so far. I haven't noticed too much of an improvement with this mod, but it has had high reviews, so I, I'm, I, I'm, uh, assuming that it's working even though i haven't really noticed it i'm sure it is because of just the high reviews that it uh, and high praise that it has uh, received so um this one there's not much to show you in the next video but just to let you know it is installed and uh, working 
And there's some other mods. Uh, I think the the one I needed, Script Dragon, uh, is not in here. There's a uh, going. There's a uh, extra hotkeys, which is a script, which you can see in this folder. Which, uh, by the way, the Dragon uh, Script Dragon scripts are dropped right into your Skyrim directory. Like, and, and that's here it is here, extra hike, hotkeys. There will always be two ones in any file, and the other one is an ASI file. Don't edit them unless uh, the author tells you to. You don't want to mess anything up, but sometimes uh, in the description they'll say, okay, you can edit this line. Just follow the instructions and you should be fine. You can see I renamed, I was using spell hotkeys, but this one actually gives you up to 40 uh, hotkeys, extra uh, hotkeys, so it's really cool. Um, and I guess that's about it for this video. It's very simple. Um, if there's any questions, uh, leave them in the uh, comments uh, below. And, uh, yeah, to, to launch my game, I would just, you know, launch this, and uh, away I went just like him I accidentally did a while ago so thanks for watching in the next video I'll show you uh, the mods uh, uh, the installed mods and how they uh, change the game so again talk to you soon